Welcome back. In this video, we are going to connect our application to MongoDB. But before that, you need to have an account before you can get it done. So if you don't have MongoDB an account, then follow me. Otherwise, we can skip this video to the next one. All right, so here, when you visit mongodb.com, let's click on MongoDB link and then we can sign up with your email so let me sign up with my google email so let's check it out click on that and then ask me to accept their privacy yes and then click submit all right so it is doing a thing at the back end <laughs> all right so mongodb account is created right so you see that I should create my organization. So let me click here. And then let me use MongoDB Atlas. Yes, and let me call this one. Name whatever you want. Let me call this one I know what tech. And then let me click that. And then let me click on create organization. Okay, so MongoDB is done, right? But I don't have any project yet being created, right? So let me click on this drop down. This is my current, right? So let me click on project and let me click here, say create new project. Or what I need is I want my connection string for MongoDB, right? So here the project is called expense expense sys tracker and then click next and next let me click on create project all right mongodb is spinning up so let's check it out the result all right so next is it asks me to create my database right so build a database click on that and then it gives me the plan to choose so if you want because we are doing testing we can use the free one and for the free one it's okay for small project so let's click on create and going to ask me a couple of questions i need to understand them so first going to ask me to select my provider so select a provider that is near to your current location so i'll leave the default one and here under my cluster tiers you see it's free right and then if you scroll up here down here so you have the cluster name so let's change this one to expenses tracker like that and then i have to create hit what hit where is it the button hit on create cluster and then class cluster is creating right so as you can see it says that your cluster is being created and it's gonna take one to three minutes can we wait no we are busy so let's go back to code and continue after three minutes we will come back to this cool so let's go back to our project here and we're going to create our uh function to connect our application to mongodb so i'm inside right now we're going to work inside the back end right so we are going to always work inside the back end. So inside the SRC here, server SRC, let's create one more folder and call this one config. So all my configuration functions are going to be here. And let me create one file called dbconnect.js. Cool. So let me hide this more space to but before that we need to install mongodb right so let me shut down this server and then let me cd in to the server you want to install Mon mongoose inside that so we're asking why mongoose mongoose is database layer of, Mongo of mongodb right so it gives, takes away some complexity for us and makes our life easier to use mongoose Right, so I'm going to use mongoose method and mongodb method at the same time. So here, let's install yarn add mongoose. Okay, mongoose, hit enter. Okay, so mongoose is installing. There we go. 
next is because we're going to work inside the back end right let's always cd into the back end for now right so for the back end this the script is called jump watch also to run the back end only for now so next is now that we have it so i'm inside my server folder and i've created a folder called config and for the db connect let's go ahead and connect application to mongodb cool so here let's require the mongoose package we installed required mongoose but before that i want to point out that i'm using an extension called tap9 so tap9 is ai auto intelligence that's why giving me that auto import a nice way if you don't have it you can install that extension cool so now that i have my i've required the the mongoose next thing is i have to create my function so cons let me call this one db connect and then gonna be normal function this function is not going to take any argument but instead i want to make use of async await so i have to avoid callback help so i'm going to use mark my function as an async because i want to use await inside that and let me bring in my try and catch in case there will be any errors in the application when connecting so i wait here and then let's call the mongoose and on that we have what is called connect and this connect here takes our db url the one that we are waiting for this one okay oh don't worry we we'll come back to you okay we don't want to be switching up and down so relax we will come back to you to configure it again okay so now that this is going to be my connection string right that is so this function takes two argument here the connection string and next one going to be my configuration so all these configurations are from mongoose not from me right okay so let's use use create index use create use is it use create index yeah use create index create index to true right and use find and use find and modify use find and modify yeah it's use find and modify not use find like that so use create index and use find and modify to use find to use find modify is supposed to be false sorry guys and the next is going to be use unify typology use unify typology to true and the last one going to be use new url parser use new url parser to true okay so if everything goes on well let's console.log something to the user to alert hey user db is connected so let's call this one db connected successfully like that but what about something goes wrong let's send a message to the user right so console.log here and we need to tell the user that there are some errors let's use some template to try here temporal string here and then error let's inject the actual error on that we have error dot message so last thing is i need to export module dot export db connect and where can i require this remember our folder let me close this extension tab here where is it okay so remember that inside our app that's we are going to hold all our business logic our server all it is doing just to run our server take our app and run it so we are not going to temper our server here again that is separation of concern so inside the app here let's require the function 
db connect and i have the auto import as that so let's comment here let me bring this one up here let's comment here and say db connect and then let's call this function so let's check it out we expect some error right because you don't have the connection string but let's try it out you see that as soon as we have invalid connection string db url okay <laughs> the connection string is not valid right so let's go back to mongodb here the one you're configuring it so here next thing is let's continue to configure this let's click on database access database access is going to let you a user to access your database based on the location so first of all let's add a user right so let's call this one me or whatever and then let's auto generate make this one be secured right so let's copy the password and the username and then make sure that we save it somewhere in your code we will come back to it let me paste it here inside my app we need this one as we proceed cool so next thing is let's click on add user okay so now we have added a user next thing is database network access like i said this is going to allow a user to to have access to a db based on a certain location so click on add ip address so here if one if you want to restrict your this database to a specific location all you need is to add the ip address but if you want a user to access this dba anywhere click on access from anywhere and confirm okay so it's confirming next is now we have configured everything next is let's click on database here and then let's click on connect so this connect is going to help us okay i think as after we added the network access is also loading so let's wait after it has finished then we come back okay but we can continue doing it so let's click on connect okay and we have some option to select connect with mongodb shell and connect your application let's click on connect your application and as you can see we have this connection string right look at the path the syntax well here we have the username and the password this user and password might be private don't expose it outside world and you can see that replace the password with the password for the, for me the user and replace my d first db with the name of database that connection string will be used so let's copy that click on that and then somewhere in our code let's also place it here we will come back to that so now let's close this now we we have all the things we need so we click on browse collections for now we don't have any records here so we don't have any collections yet so as soon as we register a user or create an expenses we will see that collection will be created here but for now we will come back to you later so let's go back to the code and let's copy this one we need this one inside our connection so let's paste it here all right so first of all let's replace this with the connection string here sorry this one connection string here like that and then let's replace the password with this password as it says and then with the password here replace the password here and next is let's change my first db to our db let's call this one expenses tracker db okay now we have it let's check our terminal and see some around if we're going to get an error it says that error options use create index use modifier are not supported okay you see that we are catching the errors okay a syntax error so let's check it out it's supposed to be uppercase but not so use find and use find and modified and use what is not supported 
one two three four okay let's start again shut down and then let's restart again and see use grid index error options are not supported use find and modified use find and okay let's try again use find and modified and use great index okay let's remove that it said they're not supported so let's remove that and see okay let's wait the connection string because i think this is the current version of mongodb and doesn't need that options so let's wait while it is booster so let's wait for the for good news all right so let's go ahead and implement our logic so i think let's remove that and we are good to go for now so let's wait for good news if it's connected or any error you will come back and fix it all right it has been connected successfully so the current version of mongoose don't need this configuration so all what we need is to pass what is this to configuration okay so as it stands we are exposing our url to the outside world anytime we put this one to github any person will have access to our db and we're exposing our user to problems so in the next video we are going to implement security and one of the security is what is called um environment variables we are going to place all our sensitive data inside our environment variables.